enggak ya? Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Good night everyone. My name is Leandro Beguasi. I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and this is one of the most beautiful uh, public art pieces I've ever seen in my home city, Sao Paulo. And I guess it is one of the reasons why I created this project. which is called Hidden City, which translates into Portuguese means uh, outra cidade. And the whole and the whole purpose purpose of doing this sort of thing is because it's creating this media brand is because I really believe that journalism can be very, very, very useful to the people. I really believe that when you, pro you create great products, journalism can be a useful tool for people improving their daily lives. And what I mean by media brand, because once Brazil is very social, very strong in social media, very strong on mobile, very strong in a lot of different things, you are not only a website, you are not only uh, a, a small piece of internet. You need to be in different places of the whole ecosystem. And then sometimes people look to this picture, you say that, and this is, this is real life, you know, this, sometimes when you go to the airport, you are going to see this sort of things in, in my home city. It's because traffic, it's the most visible problem, but it's not the only one. And when you think about we as journalists, what, what can you do in terms to help the whole system to help the community to solve these kind of problems. And then, well, there are great people doing great job in Brazil also, but also you, you, you have very serious problem. You know, the kind of coverage, the way you deal with things, most of the times you talk about problems, but just about problems, but not only how to solve these problems. And this is very important for us. Okay, then uh, here that during my term here in CUNY, I came to discover this thing called solutions journalism. And solutions journalism, okay, sometimes can look like, you know, ah, you are just uh, uh, looking to the bright side of the moon. But in the end of the day, you just want to uh, so help people to discover and do things by their own. And then you need to change the conversation, humanize the conversation. You need to tell stories that also inspire action. And this is a very important thing for me. And then, well, Sao Paulo is a very big city. And you are completely not going to cover the whole city in a lot of different aspects. Then, I, I decided to elect three main areas. Education, because you really can see what happens in a community when education starts improving. Transportation, because imagine it, when you see that picture, how uh, uh, the kind of effect that good transportation can have in the people's lives. An environment, imagine that Sao Paulo, just 100 years ago, used to be a rainforest with two amazing rivers, like Amazon, like some of you probably know. They are very, very, very serious issues. The market, the market's quite big, but as I have said, it's, uh, it's a very, it's 12 million people, you know, it's bigger than New York, it's bigger than the country of Portugal, is almost as the size of a country like Chile. You know, half of the population, according to latest data, is connected in a way or another. And Sao Paulo is more or less the, it's, it's in fact the financial, cultural, educational capital of the country. And now you have MVP, go MVP goals to see how this thing is going to perform over the last months. You were in the very beginning of this product. You know, you are building up this as a team. And for me, as important as having online metrics, you need to have offline metrics. Because I really believe that things start on articles, but also goes away long to also to have a real action. Then for example, if uh, one article inspires a meeting, I would like to have a, a given number of people attending these meetings. You know, you have, and this is one of my favorite uh, public arts in Sao Paulo, uh, you have a budget in terms of making this thing happen, giving the previous experience you had creating other editorial products, other websites, other media brands, working with them. And when you think about revenue, I say that you, you work also with traditional uh, revenue because you believe that you need to go where the money is, doesn't matter, you are very, open to that, you know, you keep your standards very clear, but you need to have advertising, no problem. You can have a sponsorship, 
but also you can have membership events and courses. And competition, well, you have local radio, you have, you have local TV, you have one or other websites trying to cover the city, but you really found a gap on the coverage of big, a big city like Sao Paulo, and a lot in Sao Paulo, but a lot of other, other cities around the world. And I'm one of the founders. You have, have a team working together because uh, this is a very important thing uh, for me. If you want to go faster, you go alone. If you, you want to go further, you go together. Then you, need, you really need to make this thing happen as a group of people. And during the, uh, the previous years, and even recent months, you have been building audience and attracting atten attention to these sort of things. With a great friend of mine who is here, you created a podcast about Brazil and US relations. And suddenly it was great to realize the, the, how people like the podcast and how it was well in the country. You do this thing together. And with you know, the support of friends which read and know and have connections, you were able to write a couple of articles in recent times which attract a lot of attention, not only in terms of page views, but also in terms of action that inspired. For me, it was great when someone uh, writes to you on Facebook and say, I want to use an article to inspire action in a local school. This is the most important thing that happens for me as a journalist. Well, sometimes you say that loving a city like Sao Paulo is like loving someone who doesn't love you back. But in the end of the day, you just need to do that because you, you did a lot for the city and the cities also do a lot for us. Thanks for your attention and thanks for your time. Questions? <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm um, from Brazil too. <laughs> so I have a special question. I, I don't know if it's for her too, because I, I forgot to ask before. Do you guys have an idea how to show up this to the community here? Because uh, my doubt is uh, we have a lot of stuff that's in Brazil that is not know, know it for people here. So when you talk about Brazil, they basically know about football and uh, soccer and stuff like that. So uh, I don't see a lot of content in English, uh, uh, high quality content in English about Brazil. Do you have plans to make a little bit in bilingual or stuff like in, that? In, in the very first beginning, not, because I guess this is started as a product for Sao Paulo. It's a community I know better. But I guess there are great people also trying to translate, uh, to do great content about Brazil in, in, in English. In the Social J program, for example, there is Rachel, which has an amazing website called the Rio Gringa, which tries to explain Brazil to foreign audience. You know, there is other friends of mine who are trying to explain in different languages what Brazil is about it. You know that Brazil is a very isolated country. You speak Portuguese, you, you know, you're so into yourselves. But I, I really believe that you need to open up to the world and also to solve our problems because you have a lot to learn with people from different places. 